Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Line Place of Binding of Isaac Reboith. Win 12 was very, very simple. Win 13? Ooh, uh, the belt? Spider butt. It's pretty bad. X8ET4JD3, a magician card to start with. Uh, well, you can use Spider butt. Wow, that's bad. You can use Spider butt once every two rooms, so we should use Spider butt once every two rooms. That bomb completely cock-blocked my shot there. That was a great spawn for that. No anarchist cookbook, please. All right, anarchist cookbook, just what I've always wanted. Is it better or worse than spider bud? Uh, it's worse. I did lose, I think, well, no, maybe it was a, no, it was definitely the worst seed I've ever had that we got spider bud on, right? That was the one. It spawned like a discussion on the subreddit about how like, you know, spider bud's not actually that bad of an item. Well, you know, agree to disagree. It's not good. Uh, but it's not literally awful. The fact that, that like what saves it from being absolute, thank God for that. What saves it from being absolutely terrible is the fact that it has a once every two room charge. But it's kind of like uh, the Necronomicon, like a weaker version of the Necronomicon in my opinion. And, you know, my thoughts about the Necronomicon should illuminate for you how I feel about, uh, about Spider Butt in that situation. I think it's okay for rooms like this, you know? Rooms with small, uh, enemies that don't, uh, have a lot of HP. I think it's terrible for bosses, which I think are typically, not just bosses, but, you know, stiffer rooms, basically, to make a very uncomfortable comparison, I guess. Um, but, uh, rooms that, that require a little bit more finesse, I think is where, for the most part, you want to use your uh, your spacebar item. You know, you want to tailor your run for those rooms that are usually a little bit more difficult. Whereas Spider Butt is kind of like the opposite. Rooms that are easy, it makes even easier. The one time I think that Spider Butt is really, really helpful is uh, in situations where, you know, maybe you don't have a lot of damage, you don't have piercing shots or something like that, and then you encounter a room that has like 30 enemies on it. Like, early game, um, those rooms with, uh, big rooms with like a bunch of flies. No doubt, if I could drop a spider butt and kill half the enemies, only leave like the champions alive, that's awesome. But apart from that, I feel like it's kind of uh, not a particularly strong haul here. Lazarus Rag's also not the item we need it to be right now, but we do have seven cents and an orbital. It's okay. No keys makes me a little scared. See, that's another pretty good opportunity for spider butt there. Most of the enemies here don't they don't get credit for being killed by spider but they've just walked into the fire, which is also great. Um, but this is an item that is going to lose its usefulness pretty quickly. I guess I'm happy we have it in the early game. Let me just... I'll, I'll end this on a relatively positive note. I'd rather have spider butt that at least does some damage than something like Mom's Bra, like we started last run with. Was that really last run? Man, time flies. Mind... No, wait, no, we started last run with Telepathy for Dummies. It was two runs ago we started with Mom's Bra. But we got rid of it so quickly that... Or not so quickly, but pretty soon, so it didn't matter that much. I'm very interested uh, to see what I do here. <laughs> like, I don't know. I I'm my own wild card right now. Do we die to respawn with Lazarus Rags? I thought only Lazarus gets the damage bonus for doing that. But I do want to go to the curse room. Uh, and if I'm going to do it, I should I should kind of like kill myself relatively early and then try to pick up some spirit hearts or something because... Uh, otherwise, we're not going to be able to take a deal with the devil. We're going to have a spirit heart deal with the devil, and we're not going to be able to afford taking it. Brother Bobby in the early game is fine. We're on the borderline of being able to get something from the shop, so I think it's worth shooting here. No bombs. I, I overthought that, I guess, because we have no need to even concern ourselves with that nonsense. We could buy a spirit heart from our shop, but buying, well, if, if it's even for sale, but buying a spirit heart from our shop doesn't do anything for us. Right now, because we'd only have two and a half. Even if we had three, we'd be able to take a deal. The vast majority of deals would still kill us. So my thinking is... Let's explore the probably the last room right here. Well, there's a boss trap room as well. Interesting. It's gonna be Monstro's and Larry Jr.'s. Bombs? No, a pill. Tears up. That's a great one. Really, really glad to have it. Two more pills. What an interesting turn of events we find ourselves in now. One of them's a tears upgrade. That's that's actually a really amazing get for us again. We'll use Spider Butt against Larry Jr. Why not, right? 
It's one of the few bosses that will get, you know, bodied by it. Took out, like, roughly half of his HP. It's not a tanky boss to begin with, but the fact that it's segmented just makes it even better. We gotta take the other pill. We gotta see what it is. Bombs are key. That's horrible. Now I can't even get into the shop unless it's adjacent to this. It is? Okay, well, just a constantly... Jumping through hoops here is yet another tiers upgrade. Full health, it's meaningless. Liberty cap is great. What is this one? I can see forever, oh my god. Okay, we do have a, a spirit heart. So my thinking is we kill ourselves. Maybe we'll check out the curse room first. On the curse room, we get a spirit heart. And we get Guppy's collar. What is going on right now? Okay, blow this up. Now we got enough money to buy Humbling Bundle. I don't know what to say. I'm so confused. If we enter that room, we will die or respawn in the curse room. So we want to, like, go down here. Maybe, like, get hit by the fire? Bring me back as Lazarus. Wake me up in. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, I don't have any bombs, so I cannot get Humbling Bundle. Rest assured that that annoys me. If we're very fast, we might even be able to swing another half spirit heart. Worst case scenario, we, we get exactly the same as we already had, right? So that's fine. Now we'll try to open this golden chest, if we can. Right? We have no bombs. Okay. If we have bombs, that solves our problem. What is this? Uh, teleporter. Mm, it's interesting, but not interesting enough, I feel. I wanted to do this, again, because... Now we can afford a deal with the devil. And it's up to us whether we want to take it. We don't have to take a deal with the devil. I'm going to really try to avoid taking damage against Monstro. Because we might only have one spirit art to survive on. We don't have to take our deal with the devil, but we can. Okay, well everything's going to be free one way or the other here. We at least got a guppy item on this floor. We got like our eighth tiers upgrade. What's our other one? I can see forever. Bombs are key. Okay, well, then we leave, and we go back to our shop. Things change, man! Things change rapidly on this run. Uh, we use a bombs or key. Might not even need to if we get some... Oh, we got one cent there. That does take us closer to fruition. Hot and fresh out the kitchen. Then we use bombs or key. Blow this up. Am I sad... We're gonna get humbling bundle, if that wasn't clear. Am I sad that I didn't need to end my life in order to take the deal with the devil. No, because now we have, we've simplified our situation. We've come up with the common denominator and you know, we've done the fractional multiplication and now we're, we're ready to go here. We can build our run on this. We've got good DPS, a guppy item, deal with the devil precedent. No, sorry, we don't have deal with the devil precedent, but we've got uh, good DPS and a deal with the devil. Hopefully coming in the future. We have a guppy item, I guess, is what I meant when I said a deal with the devil, which is just patently false. But we do have a guppy item. That is true. Okay, so we gotta, unfortunately, take advantage of uh, every single one of these rooms that's available. You know, we gotta open that if we get the opportunity. We gotta go to our curse room if it's not going to put us in a, a really, really terrible spot. That's not very good. Plus, we technically got, like, anemic as a result. We will get rid of uh, Liberty Cap as much as I like it. We'll get rid of uh, Liberty Cap for AAA Battery, which is much better with a two-room charge item. Now, uh, it'll be a one-room charge item. To be able to use Spider Butt on every room, very important. Very nice, at least. Important might be a little bit of a highfalutin way to describe it. One bomb can still do wonders for us there. Let's see what's in our item room. Come on, come on. Pop the chest. Pop the chest. Okay, you will die instead. Is this better? You like this better? We now have the ability to see where our secret rooms are. Doesn't do that much for me, unfortunately. Uh, they're slow enough, I should be able to exploit that. Yeah, that was easy enough. Okay, seriously, some bombs? No need for any of this. Do we fight the... Eh, why not, right? We might as well take advantage of this fight the boss right away. We should be fine to do so, unless it's like a uh, absolutely awful boss. Gertie Jr. is probably as bad as it gets, and I'm not really frightened at all, honestly. Now, ultimate drop here is a lucky deal with the devil nine lives. Short of that, and they're not mutually exclusive, but, you know, Magic Mushroom would be a huge get. Wow, okay. Uh, lucky me. <laughs> 
Not much else I can say there. The magic mushroom pickup is uh, is extraordinary. These guys probably would have died in one hit regardless, but I guess it's nice to have them slowed a little bit. There's some bombs. We'll get those on the way back, apparently. I'm not going to worry about getting the secret room with you. A little bit more trouble than it's worth, in my opinion. All right, two bombs. What do we do with these? Obviously, one has to be used on the spirit heart generator. If it pays out with something, I will be thrilled. Also, maybe another tears up. That's not tears up, but it is. I can see forever. Wow. Lucky us. Uh, we could use a bomb for that, but I think we just trade one bomb for four bombs instead. That seems like a pretty good deal. And then we get to go into our curse room for free. That's enough money to buy something from our shop. Like, everything's coming together here. Pandora's box is the perfect floor to have it. Not the perfect floor, but it's a good floor to have it on. Placenta gives us free HP. And all of a sudden, this one is just like, everything's firing on all cylinders here. This is going out of control really quickly. Free ability to fly. Like, I, I can't stress enough, it's really just one seam opened up and is just completely sorted out like every single problem that I was having here. Now we're good on HP and our damage has improved even more, obviously, thanks to Magic, uh, magic Mush. We're gonna have 4 HP for the next floor. Um, we don't need to use a bomb to open up the chest area anymore because... Wow, that's just full now. Um, because we have the ability to fly, and the same will go for this area down here as well. Two extra keys. And this area over here as well. Ace of Spades, which we don't take, but it's it's the thought that counts. Um, okay, that was the first time I've ever been disappointed with a pill on this run, so... I'm happy with it so far. We're a little bit behind schedule for boss rush, but just because I'm amazed with what's happening right now. And there's more HP, so now we got like four HP on this floor alone. Not to mention the magic mush and ability to fly. So I think we just go down to the next floor and be uh, pretty excited about it. That's an unbelievable haul for us. Curse of the Blind. All right, this is one of the few things that has the chance to completely squander the goodwill that the last floor built up. And this is also going to take us a long time to complete as a result of the fact that I hate Are You a Wizard? But that's done. Oh, we're already done with that. You know what? Let's just Emperor card right away. I want to see if we get a deal with the Devil. It's a little bit of a sloppy play just because we it's like completely unnecessary. We could have just waited a little while longer and probably made it work as well, but... I'm a little greedy right now. I think I have the right to be a little greedy. We've got Blood Clot. It's decent. And then Scapular. And you know what? This is this is my uh, my promise, as always, is when we find ourselves in weird, you know, Angel Room situations, I like to have the opportunity to, to maybe fight uh, Mega Satan. I reserve the right to not fight Mega Satan if it feels like we're not going to have the, the damage or survivability necessary. But for right now, of course, you know, we'll take a key piece. I don't really care about getting more spirit hearts just yet. You know, we can always cross that bridge when we come to it later on in the game. Only got four bombs right now. Two of spades. That is pretty nice. And could spend two bombs instead of a key to get in there. But I don't think that's particularly intelligent. I got to remember to use spider butt once per room. Like, it's actually a really good item in that situation. So that's what I get for shit-talking Spider-Butt. Apparently my punishment for shit-talking Spider-Butt is I get a super high-powered version of Spider-Butt that's gonna help me win the game. So I guess thank you to that. Um, you've re you're really teaching me a lesson here. I appreciate it. Samson's Chains. Not particularly strong, but we can now break mushrooms without having to worry about um, wasting bombs. It could still hurt us, but might be worth it anyway. This is a surprisingly powerful run right here. I almost feel like I should ki uh, stick with Spider Butt, even if we get like Tammy's head or something like that, just to show my commitment to this item. You know, I'm a little sentimental about stuff like that sometimes. That's like our 30th tier's upgrade. Pretty stoked. Uh, we did not explode there. I felt like maybe we should have exploded there. Oh my god, one of those is full health. The other one is pretty fly. That is not full health. That was ranged down. It's like our first bad pill. Followed by bombs or key, and another tier's upgrade. All right, might as well use uh, two of spades here. Distant admiration for attack fly, dangerously close to getting Lord of the Flies, I think. And why would we not uh, get absolutely everything on this floor? Pretty much all all cylinders are working out for us very nicely right now. 
Would be nice to be able to become Guppy. We're still a little bit behind on that. Only one Guppy item, but I got high hopes. I think we got a good future ahead of us. Come on. Come on, blood bag. Come on. Blood bag. Uh, this is a little scary. What do we have in here? I went through with it. Thank you for not being Bob's brain. I was a little frightened we'd get Bob's brain and kill ourselves on this room. So we use Bob's rod and head. We have spider butt. I don't think spider butt against Chubb is really that valuable. So we'll use it against whoever shows up next. Loki? Single Loki? Single peep. Okay, I don't mind that. He's a boss for whom mobility is important. Wow, I probably should have been hit there. And maybe there as well. Now we use it just as kind of like a finishing blow here. Oh, it didn't quite get the job done. Don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. He's dead. All right. We have slowed down a little bit. I slowed down to do this room. Yet another tiers upgrade. Now we got our HP back, though. So I'm no longer scared. And this is what I figured is Placenta would heal us up anyway. Eventually. It's not going to happen overnight, but... It'll literally happen faster than overnight because that would be an incredibly long run within the time scale that we're used to in the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. That would be that would be ridiculous. Okay, didn't leave anything behind there. Uh, let's let's get a move on. If we want to do boss rush, we we are gonna have to go slightly faster than I've gone. Is that a full health over here? What did I leave back here? Oh, it was full health. And that was a greed fight, and apart from that, we're good to go. Still no mapping, but apart from that, again, another really, really good floor. How can I complain? We picked up probably enough tiers upgrades to put us, like, way too past, or way past the cap, but... Not a, not an enormous problem. I'd rather have that problem than the exact opposite, like we had at the start of that Eve's Mascara Mom's Knife run. Bad damage. Always use full health when necessary. Range down! This is, is you know, a symbol of our luck turning a little bit? Probably not. Again, probably should save our bombs. Don't have too many. Death card. Tell you what, I'm gonna use full health. Full health. Carry the death card. We got ghost baby. It's a decent floor to use or room to use the death card on. And then death card plus spider butt. Not quite enough to finish the job on these champions. Wow, and we've taken red heart damage. So you know what? We can just go to this curse room right away. And that was not very good. All right. Probably compromised our, our chances at a deal with the devil here. Let's not let that, you know, weigh too heavily on our conscience. We're still in an amazing position. Just don't squander it. I don't even think this is squandering it. I don't think this counts. Taking a little bit of damage here and there. That's just that's just what being, being a youngster in 2015 is all about, man. Uh, again, save your bombs. The moon, that is... Not necessarily the exact card we're looking for, but the exact archetype of card we're looking for, for sure. There we go, now. Should point out as well, uh, Attack Fly is a really nice item to have, and is made better by Spider Butt as well. Slower enemies, they'll stay in the range uh, of the item a lot longer, and it makes us easier to, or makes us more confident at hitting them without getting hit ourselves, probably. BFF, absolutely, we will take, and we'll buy a Spirit Heart. And we'll donate as much money as they'll let us donate. I think that's another tiers upgrade, which at this point is a little comical, I've got to admit. There we go. Donation's done. It is another tiers upgrade. And Blood of the Martyr is a small damage increase, but enough that I'm happy with. And every damage increase, you know, is, is multiplied by our tiers increase. Or by our tiers, uh, tier rate, I guess I should say. So even mild damage increases have a, can have at least a pretty enormous impact on how things are going for us damage wise so I'm pretty excited about that just trying to draw a line for where we're supposed to go here we are already uh, behind schedule as far as uh, getting into a boss rush goes at least we're a little bit behind schedule I have faith in us though range down that's uh, largely not worth taking would be my Assessment of that item. And we you can see we're getting to the point where spider butt is, is just not cutting the mustard anymore, you know? As much as I would love for it to, to continue to be great, it's kind of starting to let us down a little bit. 
And with our damage as it is, how many shots is it really cutting off? One shot, two shots, is it worth the, the space that it takes up in our inventory there? One shot, two shots per enemy? Maybe? I mean, like, that's an honest question. It wasn't meant to be a setup or anything like that. Uh, it actually might be, or it might not be. Those are, the, those are the two options, indeed. Indeed. Another pretty fly. Not too interested in the blood bank. More interested in the uh, in boss rush. Yeah, we gotta get a move on. Unfortunately, I still like the uh, the damage uh, potential here, but I almost feel like we could replace it with something similar but better in the form of magic fingers. Like that would be, it would do almost the same thing, but better. I feel. Now we have so much speed that we don't need to worry at all about uh, this guy doing damage to us once he enters the next phase of his life. But we've got to get a move on if we're going to do boss rush. Like it is, we are very tight for time. No deal with the devil, but another orbital with ball advantages. I'm excited. I'm I'm not comfortable skipping. Well, I am comfortable actually skipping the uh, the item room in the shop to get to our boss rush room because we have uh, the teleport card that will allow us to get back to them. Got to kill those guys faster though. We really might be on the clock here. And I'm talking like it could be matters of seconds that dictate whether or not we're able to go in the the boss rush room here. But largely, it's going to depend on whether or not we choose the right direction. You know, that's the problem with not having mapping. Is we have no idea if this is the right way or the wrong way. All we can really do is try to increase the speed at which we figure out that the wrong way is the wrong way. And I know half of you are singing Sublime right now. I I understand it. I can't even afford to go to the shop right now is my perspective. I should go faster. Now we can afford to go to the shop because we're fine. <laughs> but if this is what I was worried about is that we'd end up fighting greed or super greed and it would cost us some much value or much needed valuable time. But... Whatever. Now we also have the chance to play this Judgment. Of course, my hope is going to be that Judgment uh, pays out with mapping or HP. And that's pretty much all he pays out with, so I think we got a good chance either way. And then we'll go back after this and get our item room. Hopefully we get something great from our... Ooh, Hagalaz. Hopefully we get something great from our boss trap room. Compass is already really good. Now we can see what's up here, and let's just go through with this. Now... It would be really ideal for us to not take damage. Not take red heart damage, at least, on this fight. A uh, deal with the devil or angel could go a long way. Fuck it. I gotta give it a try, right? Don't burn me too bad here. The mind means that the compass pickup was effectively completely worthless, but... No, you don't understand. It's gotta be faster than this. <laughs> take the damage. I don't care. Okay, that was good enough. Now we have the chance to fight Mega Satan, and we actually have more time than I thought. Okay, what do we have in this room? Just god-awful nonsense. Um, we'll take Dead Bird. I'll admit that I was kind of tempted to take... Uh, to take Lemon Mishap. Which might be better for us. Would be able to use it once per room. Not, not very glamorous of an item, but could have been interesting at least. But pretty much suffers the same problem as Spider Butt, where it's like... You know, it, it, it's past its welcome, basically, at this point of the game. Still decent. Goathead. Okay, well, Goathead is, is really good. Even though we'll only probably have the opportunity to get it, like, used once, I guess, if we're lucky on the rest of the game. Okay, try that. Good item room, please. Ooh, this is, this is a great item room. We just got Mom's Wig, and we got a much better spacebar item in the form of the D6 uh, versus Spider Butt. So this is incredible for us. I don't care at all about Boss Rush. Or not Boss Rush, uh, Boss Trap. So, conversely, or I guess there's a corollary there, I don't care at all about our um, arcade. All I really care about is maybe getting some extra HP. Hero Font card or something like that. Might as well shoot all the fire. And then just drag Samson's chains along here. And I could use a better card than the moon as well. Like an emperor card would be nice. Temperance. Stars. Hmm. I don't know. We'll take the stars for now. Bombs are key. Not, not very pertinent in either direction. We got plenty of both. Joker? Joker. Okay, so Joker is our card now. Because we want to use that on the... Uh, on the uh, chest or the cathedral? Probably the cathedral. Now, we don't have a lot of... Let's just make it to the boss. 
We don't have a lot of HP, truth be told. So I think it's in our best interest to really just play smart. Try to take a, as little damage as possible. I am going to miss the, the burst damage. Like entire room damage, but it's so much better to have what we have here. Oh my god, we got teleported to our deal with the devil already. Apparently, uh, Samson's chain just broke the angel statue. Oh, that's so... It's unfortunate because we could have re-rolled it twice. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. We will be able to re-roll it twice if it sucks the first time because we have a uh, AAA battery. So it will get a charge this time. Oh, it doesn't drop a pedestal at this point. Right. Uh, the, man, the number of emotions I went through there. Okay, we did get a spirit heart, which is good. Uh, maybe two spirit hearts because I'm going to sacrifice one to go to this curse room. And Black Candle is not a re-rollable item in my world. Did we not take damage on the way out? I'm confused, but otherwise very pleased. Uh, we know that our deal is going to be shit here because we already got it. The deal is going to be empty, let's just put it that way. But we can re-roll the uh, White Pony for sure, that's like a no-brainer. Shouldn't have played chicken with him there. Oh well. Caffeine Pill. What, another tears upgrade? Nope. Telepills. Alright, well, it's an impetus to go to the secret room, let's put it that way. We did find it, of course. I mean, we can see it on our map. It's not like I'm some kind of clairvoyant genius. Algiz rune? No, I think we stick with the, uh, we stick with the Joker card. Just got a nice assortment. Range down. Are you a wizard? Range down. Bombs are key. Great haul. Great haul there. Telepills, again. Not interested. What was the other one? Algiz. It was Algiz room, but we want the Joker anyway. Alright, that was easy. Now with Black Candle, we know we're not going to get screwed by uh, any curses, so the only thing that can screw us is this dice room down here, which thankfully did not. Now I'm not going to take Pulse Worm, but it's only because I like uh, AAA Battery in our current situation, and I think AAA Battery is a little bit more absurd. I mean, last round we did Ring Worm and Pulse Worm, so it's like it's an absurdity downgrade if we were to go through that road again. And I gotta admit, you know, like, yet another pretty easy run for us here. I don't know what we did to deserve, like, 12 super easy Eden runs in a row. But I'm extremely happy either way. Especially today, I'm, I'm knocking out, like, a ton of Rebirth runs in order to get ready for packs. But, uh, they've been really easy. Like, every single one of them has been, like, a half hour or less without even really rushing it. Just be, you know... Just because we've gotten such absurd damage. We'll, uh... Just try not to let that cockiness flavor the run. That came out way dirtier than I originally intended. But I want to not let that cockiness flavor the run, because, uh... We could end up in a bad situation, but it's very unlikely. I'm not trying to act like we're in a bad situation, you know? Don't, don't mistake me here. We are in an unbelievably good situation. However, if I got like like this amount of HP plus a dice room in the future or something like that, maybe we find ourselves in a tough spot. Why am I fighting the angel statue? Basically because I can. Like, I'm not gonna bullshit you. There is no productive purpose to doing this, except maybe we get a chest drop or something like we did. And actually worked out okay. We got a spirit heart. We got two spirit hearts. Did we miss anything out here? Uh, nope. So let's, uh, head up to the next floor. This is where we will use our Joker card. And the Joker card provided us with the soul. We will crack open the angel statue and fight. I don't know, just in case he finds it in his heart to give us another pedestal. Uh, the soul is mostly good at this point for the two extra spirit hearts, but the bullet deflecting ability, you know, I'm not gonna... It's like Morpheus, right? Are you... Are you telling me I'm going to be able to dodge bullets? No. What I'm telling you is that when you're ready, you won't have to. I think I'm more of a Morpheus than a, than a Keanu, than a, than a Neo, than a One, you know? Definitely. I got a little bit of the, the Lawrence Fishburne, like, fat head syndrome going on. I hope he doesn't actually have a medical problem that causes him to have a large head, because then I'd feel like a fucking right asshole. I'll apologize in case. I, I had no idea. Um, and also, you know, I got the I got the deeper voice. Not that Keanu has a bad voice or anything like that, you know. It's really good to hear his voice. It's uh, just one of those things that sounds so sweet coming from the lips of an angel. Hearing those woes just makes me weak. Seriously, though, we are 
pretty much done with this Isaac fight. And by that, I mean we're like approximately halfway done with this Isaac fight. I wanted to stand in there as close as we could get. Because uh, I want to be able to hit him with the attack fly. We're still very close to getting Lord of the Flies. This will be the end of this Isaac, though. Not this Isaac episode, but this this Isaac, you know, NPC here. I guess Isaac's not technically an NPC, Northern Lion, because you can play as Isaac. You've heard of the character Isaac. The game's called The Binding. Okay, you got me, all right? You roasted me. Uh, what do you think? I think we take Dry Baby. I think we take Libra just to fucking get weird with it. We've had so many tiers upgrades, I hope that this would improve our damage. And we'll take Anemic. And... I know we're gonna fight Mega Satan, but I wanted to see how our damage stacked up first. And I gotta admit, it seems kind of terrible. So my thinking is uh, that we've just lowered our our damage and our tears fairly drastically for for basically no reason. Uh, and my thinking is let's at least get one more reroll for blank card or a good card to go with it. Although, what what kind of card would we want? That we wouldn't just use once against Mega Satan, I guess. But we might as well get one reroll, and maybe we'll get some more items in the process. All right? Oh, there's our reroll right there. So we'll just go on and on see what you get here. And it is uh, more HP, which we don't need. All right. We've made our bed. It's time to lie in it. I'm assuming that this is going to be an annoying fight. Do we have any bomb synergies? We do have the soul. The soul is not really a synergy because, you know, it's itself. It's just one item. But it's very strong against... Uh, very strong against Mega Satan because of the fact that it deflects all those like bullet hell nonsenses that he shoots out. And this is going to be, I'm, I'm learning now, especially when we get down to those mini bosses, that's going to be really annoying. Um, but in advance, or sorry, after the mini bosses, it's not going to be annoying. Once we get to the second phase of the, of the Mega Satan fight, I'm pretty sure it's going to be relatively simple, actually. This was the worst possible combination of, of mini-bosses. We got, like, both champions. Do you always? I don't think you always get both champions there. The funny thing about this is that we actually could find ourselves... Uh, dying and then respawning. Wait, why are you shooting? Something about this feels wrong. Just keep throwing some bombs in there whenever you get the chance. That was very helpful. Uh, we, we caused him to get a little weird there. That's okay. Everybody gets a little weird sometimes. Super Envy's not going to be too bad. Really wish we had Infestation 2 right now. Still plenty of HP. Nothing to get scared about. We got, uh, we got Dead Bird, man. That's going to be so helpful. I'm, I'm joking, unfortunately. Because Dead Bird is terrible. But one of these days, man, maybe it won't be. One of these days, maybe it won't be. Against all odds. Wow, I got pretty lucky to not take damage there. and Or there, or in really any of these situations. Great stuff. Okay, get a bomb in there. Don't get hit this time. These bombs are actually pretty potent. I mean, it's just base damage bombs, but... Uh, they're compensating for the fact that I Libra the shit out of myself earlier. One angel statue's dead. So we're almost, almost, almost done with this fight. That's not three almost to emphasize how close we are. That's three almost to emphasize how far away we are. Oh, uh, I'm starting to learn the tells of these angel statues. Probably from forcing myself to fight Mega Satan fairly often. We just gotta wait for him to get through this phase. And once he gets through this phase, thinking phase whatever, the next phase is actually pretty easy for us. There we go. Why is the next phase easy? Because we can tank his hits and we have the soul and, you know, we've got BFF and we've got some spiders and we got 13 bombs left. Basically, I'm thinking if we just stand up here, the soul should deflect a lot of these bullets. Just have faith. Some of the shot speed is pretty high, but we're getting it done. And that's a nice orbital shot there. Man, Pretty Fly is blocking every single one of these. That is absurd. Let's get some bombs in there. That was much easier than even I anticipated there. Well, for now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.